everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have an 18 by 18 gallery wrapped canvas that I'm going to do a dirty pour on. Um, let's go over my paints. I am using some of my leftover blue paints and um, I don't remember all the names of them, but I will tell you the ones I do know. First of all, I have uh, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. I have Artist Loft Cobalt Blue, Metallic Cobalt Blue. I have um, Payne's Gray from Grumbacher, and that I added to a little bit of medium blue color that I had. I have Artist Loft uh, Gold, and I did run out of that, so what I did was for my base coat, as you can see, I do have the um, Artist Loft Gold down. I added a little bit of uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White with a little bit of enamel paint in it. And my last color is uh, Grumbacher Unbleached Titanium White, about half, and then again about half, I added the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White with some um, enamel paint. And my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I did not add any silicone. So uh, consistency, I'll show you with the gold here. It just leaves a little trace. You can see that. Okay, like I said, I'm just going to do a dirty pour, and I did use some of the enamel, so we'll see if that gives us... Um, you know any kind of different uh, outcome or not but I'm just going to layer my paints in my cup here hopefully you can kind of see that first this just the dioxazine purple here and then I'm going to add some of these blue paints that I had used in a prior pour I know the names of them were southern seas And then I had a turquoise. And I the, the names escape me on these, so but they're very beautiful paints. Add some of the gold in there. This is the first time I've ever put down gold is my base coat so we'll see how that goes and if I have negative space today that's fine Using up these these blues. Oh, one was called coastal also. I think that's the color. Coastal. And I think that's the three colors I am using today. Coastal, Southern Seas, and Turquoise are the colors that I'm using up. Put some more gold in there.
This dioxazine purple is very, very pretty. Now I'm almost finished here. This is that metallic cobalt blue, one of my favorite colors. And the rest of the unbleached titanium with the enamel. And the rest of the gold. paints out of the way here. And we will start pouring. Try and do a ring pour here. Okay. And I'm looking for my skewer here. Just gonna take it and fix this middle a little bit here. Okay. And I think I will torch a little bit here first. start some tipping. I usually don't use this 
thick of a canvas either, so this is kind of new to me. I don't know how many of you out there get intimidated by bigger canvases, but I do. I mean, my favorite size canvas is a 12 by 16 because they're easy to handle. And anything larger than that is a little bit of a challenge. Well, this one's an 18 by 18, but it's got the thick sides on it. So... I don't usually work with this size. I'll turn it here. I'm just going to keep tipping here. And I will tip off this corner. And bring it back. And now I will tip to that corner. And bring it back. I do like those cells down there in that corner, so I'm gonna try and save some of those. I can. Okay. I will try this corner. First, I'll bring it back to the middle. And now we'll try this corner. And bring it back. And one more corner. Oh, I see something in here that doesn't belong, so I'm going to get it out now because that does affect the, the rings. And I don't see anything else, so we're good to go there. Okay, let's get this corner. You can see, I think I have just enough paint here. And bring it back. I'm going to try and bring it back into the middle now. And I am moving that purple just a little bit here. I'd like to get it to move around this edge here. <clears throat> Let's 
first I'll bring it back. And I'm going to take a look at it here. And while I'm at it, I can check my check my edges here and my corners. Okay. See what we have here. Okay, what I'm going to try and do is, like I said, try and move this, that dioxazine purple just over a little bit. And maybe run it off a little bit here. Just stretching it out. And then I'm going to bring it back again. Okay, we'll take a look at it now. Just finger popping my my edges here where I see it needs a little help. Okay. And I may actually take take and move the this down on this corner yet if I can. If the paint will move a little more and bring it back. I'm just really trying to stretch out that that purple here. Okay, now I'm going to take another look. Okay. And I will have to torch here. Clean off the bottom a little bit with my fingers. Okay, let me give it a torch. Not a whole lot of the gold showed up. Some right in here. In here. And I just want to do a little bit more stretching here. I'm going to bring it down to this corner here if I can. Just 
just run some of that off. It's just looking a little too plain to me. And I'll bring it back. Okay, take another look here. It looks a lot better, these, these stripes I'm getting here now. And with that purple, that's, that's the look I was going for. And a little bit of stretch down this way now. just to move that corner a little bit off. Do more stretching to see if it helps this purple stretch out more. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it back again. I don't have to have it exactly in center. Matter of fact, I don't want it in center, but Let's see what I have here. Okay, I'm really liking it now. A lot better. And I'm gonna torch it again. I really like the effect in here. I want to bring you down for a close-up. You'll see what I mean by it. Okay, let's get you down for a close-up. This is an, again, this is an 18 by 18 gallery wrapped canvas. Here is the upper left. <clears throat> Looks very pretty in there. You can see why I wanted to do as much stretching as I did on this painting. And it's coming up. You'll just see the effects here. Just beautiful, the way that dioxazine purple is, is in this area. Really like it right there. This is the lower, lower left hand corner. Take you up the middle here. Again, that the effects of that is very pretty. Although, like I said, I didn't get a whole lot of the, the gold, a little bit in here, peeking through. And there's some in there, here and there little bits of it and there's that faded look again up in here very pretty this is the upper right hand corner here a 
very pretty in there. Those lines. And in here. The lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Subscribe if you haven't and make sure to ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I do um, post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody and thank you for watching. Bye.